Hi, I'm Nick Reitz, and this is the UC Davis Post Artist Lab. As part of the 2020 IFT Graduate Student Research Video Competition, this is an introductory video on my path as a researcher and a little bit about my video making process. I hope you enjoy. I grew up in the semi-small town of Columbia, Illinois, which is near the city of St. Louis. For my bachelor's degree, I studied at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, majoring in food science and minoring in chemistry and international agriculture. While getting my bachelor's, I had the opportunity to do research projects on food chemistry and bovine nutrition. Additionally, I had an internship in the food science department's pilot plant, setting up a tomato processing line for the student farm. I stayed at Illinois to get my master's, studying the difference between beet and cane sugars in egg foam systems. This involved in-depth analysis of the texture and structure of baked goods. My wife and I also met at the University of Illinois, and we married shortly after getting my master's. Hoping to do my PhD research in post-harvest fruit and vegetable biology, my wife and I made our way across the country to the University of California, Davis. Davis is known for its top quality agriculture school and for being one of the best bicycling towns in the United States. In addition to the tomato research you'll hear about shortly, I've also done post-harvest research on apples and grapes. Shown here is a project involving post-harvest treatments of apples in the hopes of reducing bitter pit. I've also had the opportunity to do some field research applying treatments pre-harvest. Special thanks to my lab mates who dressed up in the fashionable protective gear to help me with the spraying. I also have a deep interest in working internationally. During my undergrad, I had the opportunity to do an internship on a farm in northern France. This farm specialized in vegetable crops, and I spent a good part of the summer weeding sugar beet fields. During my PhD research, I had an opportunity to work with the Methodist University College in Ghana. This involved two visits to their campus in Wenchi, Ghana, helping their amazing staff run extension programs for local mango farmers. As for the video you're about to see, I did the majority of the editing in the video editing software Blender. I used the audio editing software Audacity to record the voiceover. Additionally, I'm an amateur musician, and the music you hear in this video was also recorded through Audacity. It's also worth mentioning that I did all of the camera work myself, and this required an extensive use of inanimate objects, such as microwaves. Time lapses require three things a plan, attention to detail, and patience. Lots of patience. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of the people in Beth Mitchum's lab at UC Davis for their support throughout my research. I could not have gotten this far without them. Additionally, I'd like to thank Campton BRI, the sponsors of this video competition. Enjoy the video. 